Welcome to this customer request tech tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'll be looking at this analysis with you today. We had a customer that requested was it possible to animate an anchor chain inside of Autodesk Inventor. And I hope you see through these visualizations that it absolutely is possible in a limited capacity to animate anchor chain inside of Inventor. You see the results up on the screen of a dynamic simulation that we have set up. The dynamic simulation environment inside of Inventor allows us to add a load to a component and then see how that load is transferred between all the other components in the assembly. Now this is a very primitive analysis. We're simply letting gravity take over with a 5,000 pound load at the end of the chain but I think Inventor does a pretty good job of animating the chain links. Now I do want to walk you through the process that I went through to generate the animation you just saw. So it starts off by building the chain. I actually modeled a single link and I added iMates to make assembling the chain a little easier. You can drag the iMates from dot to dot and position them very easily and quickly and build your chain link. Now looking forward to the dynamic simulation I wanted to eliminate as much 3D contact as possible. So when I modeled the chain and I positioned the links I actually left a space between each link of about half of an inch. Now the links will bump into each other during the simulation but leaving this little gap makes the simulation run quicker and more efficiently. Now positioning the chain in a straight line is quite easy but positioning the chain around a curve does present a few challenges. So here you can see me bringing in a link uh, placing it in position and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to make it contact sensitive if you're going to use the contact set you need to make sure that the contact solver is activated. Once this is active then the links won't pass through each other and we can position them with real contact. So I can drag this link around and get it close to its position. Once it's in the position I like I can ground it so that it doesn't move and then I can bring in the next link. Again, I'll use the iMates to easily assemble the chain. And then I'll pre-position this link. Just drag it around. And then before I do the final position, I want to make sure I activate the contact set, make it contact aware. And then I can drag it around with respect to contact to the previous link. It is very important that we don't have any interferences in the chain prior to running the simulation. Now I want to jump into the dynamic simulation environment. I'm going to start the environment. I'll dismiss the tutorial message and I'll just dismiss the simulation player here. Now when you enter the simulation environment each of those iMates is going to automatically create a spherical joint between each link. But we also have to manually add 3D contact between all the links. This is a very tedious process, but it is absolutely essential in order to do a proper analysis of the chain. So I have to go through at every joint and pick each link and add a 3D contact joint there. We also need to add a 3D contact joint between every single link and the actual hull body. So between every link and all the other components it's going to bump into, you'll have to generate a 3D contact joint. Again, this can be quite tedious to do, but it is essential for the dynamic simulation. So I hope you can see that it is possible to animate something as complex as an anchor chain 
inside of Autodesk Inventor. But it is important that you also understand this is quite a complicated process. It does require a good bit of upfront modeling time and it will require quite a bit of calculation time. The analysis that you're looking at took about a day to model and set up and then it took about five hours to calculate three seconds of motion in the assembly. Now please understand those statistics are based on my computer's performance. And also take into account that this is a very simple analysis. We're simply letting gravity take the chain and drag it. If you set up a more complex scenario, your calculation time will grow exponentially. This is going to conclude my look at the chain analysis. If you have any questions about the contents of this video, please contact your Imaginate Technologies account manager or support representative.